A pride of 50 life-size lion sculptures are set to prowl South Africa's v and waterfront in aid of Land Rover's global conservation partner, the Born Free Foundation. The Pride of Cape Town is a major public arts event that hopes to raise vital funds. Queen guitar legend Brian May, CBE, was there to help launch the event. We're here to launch the Pride of Cape Town initiative, which is all about saving lions. And there are not many lions left, as we know. And it's all about really a wider issue, which is the way that wild animals are treated and animals in general are treated in the world. We seem to have this idea that we're the only species that matters and that has to change very quickly or our grandchildren will inherit a tragedy. We had an incredible experience at Shamwari and we were able to be part of the rescue operation. We were actually moving a, a pair of lions to a new and wonderful place where they can enjoy the rest of their days. Um, an incredible privilege to be a part of it. And of course, it's part of the way that we feel about animals in general. Um, we're part of Virginia McKenna's Born Free initiative. That's why we're here. Um, but Virginia has been helping us also with our issues of animal cruelty in Britain. Joining Brian in Cape Town was West End and Broadway singer Kerry Ellis. The pair recently collaborated on their version of the classic Born Free. Working with Brian has been um, incredible. We've done so many things together and over the past 10 years we've been at festivals, we've been, um, you know, been able to do some amazing performances. But now we've come together for a real special event and we're both very close to um, Virginia and the Born Free project and we're really lucky and privileged to be here in Cape Town to support the pride of Cape Town. Virginia McKenna, OBE, played Joy Adamson in the original 1966 film and in 1991 established the Born Free Foundation in order to stop individual wild animals suffering and protect threatened species in the wild. What I want the Pride of Cape Town to do is actually promote the plight of lions as well as the Born Free Foundation and all the other people who are desperately trying to do something to save them. And I think this will create huge awareness amongst the local public, you know, who may not quite realize what is happening and once you sow that seed the seed can spread that's what I'm hoping it'll do. Land Rover is just fantastic for Born Free. I mean I first got to know Land Rover in 1964 when we made the film Born Free and we traveled in Land Rovers not knowing that one day we were going to have a charity and that Land Rover would be such an important part of our work. Of course we have Land Rovers in our projects abroad in Nairobi here we have them in England as well and in Ethiopia and it's just a fantastic partnership. Land Rover's design team worked on the designs for the Land Rover Lion. Individuals and companies will now be able to sponsor their chosen lion in order to raise money for the Born Free Foundation. With fewer than 25,000 lions left across the continent, this 50-strong pride of Cape Town could really help make a difference.